Assalamu alaikum students and a very good morning to all of you. This is your teacher Ms. Azmana and I am here with another week's home task. Let's begin. Now students, the topic that we are going to discuss today is very interesting. It is related to the type, one of the types of verbs. That is uh, the transitive verb and the intransitive verbs. Now what kind of verbs are these and what do we need to learn before we move towards the concept of transitive and intransitive verb now let me tell you we need to do we need to have a little introduction to words uh, or a little uh, we need to have a little um, i won't say introduction but uh, we have to recall a couple of things in verbs like the direct and indirect objects and uh, the linking verbs so let's just begin and move towards the transitive and intransitive verbs um, after I give you the introduction of some compulsory preliminary things. Now let's learn about the basic part of speech that is verb. Now students verb is a type of it is one of the kinds or category of our parts of speech and just to recall, I'm giving you a little basic idea of the verbs. All right. Now, what are verbs? Let's see. A verb is a word that expresses an action or a state of being. For example, the baby cried very loudly. Over here, the verb cried tells us the action done by the baby. So cried is going to be a verb. In the next example, the baby is not very happy. Is is the helping verb. But over here, it is going to be a linking verb, which is the only verb in the sentence to describe the condition of the baby. So we call it a linking verb. Let me explain these verbs in a little more detail. These kinds of verbs, like action verbs, express mental or physical action. The baby cried loudly. And then we have the linking verbs, which connect the subject of the sentence with a word that describes or explains its state. The baby is not very happy. Before we move towards the transitive, transitive and intransitive verb, we need to know what are the indirect and direct objects because transitive and intransitive verbs have everything to do with the object of a sentence. Now, two kinds of objects may follow an action verb. The object that receives the direction, the direct action of the verb is the direct object. However, the object that tells to whom or for whom the action is done is called the indirect object. For example, friends sent Catherine the flowers. The flowers are the, indirect, the direct object and Catherine is our indirect object. Transitive versus intransitive. Now, what are these and what is the difference between both types of verbs? Now, see students. Transitive verb. Transitive verb is an action verb that directs the action from the performer of the action towards the receiver of the action. That is, the receiver of the action is a person, place, or thing. It could be noun or pronoun. Then we have intransitive verb, which expresses an action or tells something about the subject of the sentence, but does not direct action toward another noun or pronoun.
So students, we can say that a transitive verb is an action verb that has a direct object and an intransitive verb has no direct object. Now, these examples for transitive and intransitive verbs are going to help you in understanding the depth of the topic. Transitive verb. For example, the captain rang the bell. Over here, rang is a transitive verb because it has the object, the bell. What is being rung? The bell. Similarly, let's check another example of transitive verb. The captain sailed the ship. What was sailed? The ship. Now let's check the intransitive verb. How does it look like? The bell rang for dinner. Over here, we do not know what is the object of this ringing. So, we say rang over here is an intransitive verb. We have another example for intransitive verb. The ship sailed out to sea. Sailed is going to be an indirect. Sail is going to be an intransitive verb for us. Okay, just for a little practice. They explored the new territory. What was explored? New territory. Some colonists sailed back to their homelands. The other immigrants stayed in the US. These people shared a dream of a better life. They settled in the new land. All built new lives. Now you are going to guess what are the transitive and intransitive verb. Let me explain you a little more. All right students, let me give you some examples to clear the idea of transitive and intransitive verbs. A transitive verb is an action verb with a direct object which receives the action. An intransitive verb has no direct object. Now let's check the example. Verb. Read. Let's use it in transitive example for the, in, for the transitive verb. I read the book. Read what? The book. The book is a direct object for read. So read is a transitive verb. Let's use read. As an intransitive verb. I read quickly. Over here, what is being read? We don't know. So there is no object of read. So we say read is an intransitive verb. Sit. Now let's see how it is used as an intransitive verb. They sit on the bus. So sit cannot be used in the transitive verb as transitive verb. It can only be used as an intransitive verb. Visit. He visits the ran ranch. Now, what is being visited? The ranch. So, over here, visit can be used as a transitive verb as it is having the, the object. Over here, we use visit as an intransitive verb when we say he visits often. What is being visited? We don't know. So, visit can be used as an intransitive and transitive verbs both. Now let's check out this example. He wrote the manuscript. The verb is wrote. Now ask yourself, he wrote what? The answer will be the manuscript, which is the direct object. Therefore, wrote is a transitive verb. Another example. For intransitive verb. Mrs. Carper applauded. The verb is applauded. Now ask yourself, applauded whom or what? The answer is 
there is no word to receive the action of the verb applauded and no direct object. Therefore, applauded is an intransitive verb. Now students, here is a list of some common intransitive verbs for you. Now the words in the list are never transitive, remember. For example, become, come, die, fall, go, happen, sit, stand, talk, wait, walk and work can only be used commonly as intransitive verbs. Thank you very much students. I hope the concept of transitive and intransitive verb is quite clear to you. And remember the direct and indirect objects. This will help you understand the concept. Thank you.